Hey Gamers, Maniac here with GameAccess.net. Uh, doing a video uh, about the current times, specifically broadcasting from my home arcade. Now, as from the last time you guys have seen my home arcade, it pretty much has kind of stayed the way it is since the last time you saw it. I currently have about five independent machines down here, and I'm probably going to keep it that way for a while. Um, because I, I kind of want to bring some alternate stuff in and make use of the space before I start planning out adding some more machines. But what I have been looking a bit closer on, at least option-wise, I do want to add some more machines down here. But I have kind of been seduced by the idea of possibly putting putting a multi cade down here. Now, these machines I got down here already are pretty beautiful. But to be perfectly honest, most of them only handle one or two games to begin with. With the exception of the MVSX, which plays like 50, which is like a 50 system, you know, 50 game multi cade And the Ms. Pac-Man machine I have down here, which I kind of have been getting a few requests to a, a full-time review of, which I am considering. Uh, which I think has about 10 or 12 games on there, don't quote me on that. The vast majority of my major, my major uh, uh, three-quarter scale machines basically hold one to two games at most. So, to make use of the space perhaps a standalone multi cade option would be an idea. And currently that what's out there, at least when it comes to legitimate purchases and stuff like that, not including the requirement of modding or something, I have been looking very, very closely at the II Arcade as of recently, uh, particularly since they made the announcement of the gold uh, standard of, 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 of I Arcade model. Essentially, it was like a, uh, a standalone cabinet which functions as a as a multi cade which allows you to uh, which comes preloaded with games but will connect to Wi-Fi or an Ethernet connection and can be used essentially for all kinds of different things including uh, uh, extra download purchases through their online um, on online marketplace which is fine I mean uh, that's a, that's not a bad idea at all if you say well we can you can buy a machine with like 12 games pre-installed in it and then for a price you could basically have access to our multi cade system that's that's fine there's nothing wrong with that and the IRK designs that I've seen especially when it comes to the gold models were quite beautiful I was very impressed by specifically the Dragon's Lair model of the IRK gold um and I actually had a coworker that I saw that's a huge retro, huge retro arcade fan. I showed him the Space Invaders cabinet model of the II arcade. Um, basically just telling him it was in fact a multi cade, but it was based on, you know, the exterior was based on the Space Invaders. He loved it. Like, he thought it was awesome. He thought it was a really cool idea. It's like, oh, so the, the guts are the same. This one can, it can play a whole bunch of games, but it looks like a Space Invaders machine from the outside. He's like, that, that actually looks pretty cool. I could totally see why you'd be interested in it. Heck, I'm kind of uh, uh, interested in it. Literally, and here's where we're going to get to the part of that story. Literally the day after I showed him the Space Invaders machine, the Space Invaders cabinets of IR Arcade have sold out. Followed pretty quickly by the Dragon's Lair machine and the Double Dragon machine. And as of at least two days ago, the Dead Cells machine. There are only four models of, of IR Arcade Gold out there. They've made four. And at least for the past two weeks, and I think I know why, you cannot buy their machines anymore. They have been listed consistently as sold out. By the way, their website still lists the gold cabinet as pre-order. They, although they have been kind of shipping out for the past few weeks, certainly I think for the past month, at least for the last two months, maybe. But, um, but IIRK still currently lists them as pre-ordered. They are sold out. And they have been sold out for a while. And that's, I know this sounds awful, but that's not a good thing. Especially given the fact that they need, cons meaning they need the devices out there basically in people's homes to be able to direct people to their online web stores. Because they're charging money, and again, people are paying it, and that's fine. So that people can buy more games for these systems, which obviously means that 
I mean, they've got they've got plenty of games that are currently available right now. Some of them from like Sega's back catalog, but also some other classics um, that are currently available on the console. You know, I call it a console, but really it's a, it's an arcade machine. But that people are gonna that 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 could mean sales for the manufacturers, for the publishers, for the the game designers. If they've currently just sold out of these units, then sales on those systems are not going to be, I'm sorry, sales on those games are not going to be as high as they should be. And I'm basically out right now. I'm, I'm out of luck right now because I only found out about it recently. And I don't think my wife is going to be interested in me getting one until at least next year. <laughs> so I, I would like to know, and this is the reason why this video is being posted, I would like to know what IR Arcade's intentions are. Are they going to do another run? Because they've announced, before this unit sold out, they had announced that they would be releasing a copy of Operation Wolf through their system, and that the gold model specifically would be supporting... Uh, USB Sinjin light guns, as well as other third-party light gun options. They, they, they haven't released a total list yet, but they said they would be offering light gun options and as well as light gun compatible games through their service. The second they said that, pretty much, or the day after they said that, the IR arcades immediately could not stay on, stay stocked. I don't know what that tells you about these systems, basically, but I'd like to see some kind of response from IR Arcade, whether it be on their Twitter or whether it be on their on their YouTube channel or something. Basically saying, yes, we know we're out of stock of the gold model. Yes, more are being made. I know there are a lot of arcade vloggers out there. I am certainly not one of them. There are a lot of home arcade vloggers out there. They have been touting the IR Arcade for a bit specifically because of the recent announcement news. Nobody has mentioned, by the way, they're sold out. You can't get one. You can't order one. I'm kind of hoping that somebody at some point did, in which case, for all I know, I'm breaking news right now. But the IRK Gold is sold out. Are they coming back? I really would like to know. Hope uh, you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, my name is Maniac with GameAccess.net. Take care. Over and out.